What I do in these videos is I try to show you how to stop procrastinating, to engage with your goals, simply by understanding what the problem is. Now I have a short question here and I'm going to make a point about one of the major issues that leads to procrastination based on the answer I'm going to give to this question. But it's a short question and it says, I've been struggling to stay productive even to meet my own needs given that my life has changed a lot recently. I have a new job, a new child, and I'm really finding it difficult to stay connected to my goals. I want to know, uh, I, I want to grow my own business um, as I work, not to mention basic things like getting regular exercise. Some of your ideas have been useful, but any tips on how to manage life changes like this? I never feel I have enough time to do everything. Okay, so what I'm going to do here in this video to answer this question is feeling that you don't have enough time to do everything and when these life changes come along you know you feel maybe a bit more squeezed and tight for time and it's more difficult to do everything which is a very real experience so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an image to think of or a metaphor I suppose and I want you to think of this question when it comes to getting things done especially when you're tight on time and it's this do you see yourself as being like a coyote or like a saber-toothed tiger? Okay. Do you see yourself as being like a coyote? You know, those, uh, they're like small wolves, I guess you would say, or a saber-toothed tiger. Now, the difference between those two animals is very telling. The coyote is famous for its adaptability. Okay. And the Sabertooth Tiger is, I guess, famous for having gone extinct, really. But the difference, really, between these two animals is the size of the prey that they would hunt. And the reason that the coyote has survived for so long is that it is adaptable to different situations and it doesn't need huge quantities of food each time it eats. Whereas the Sabertooth Tiger needed to consume a lot of food when it hunted and when things got more difficult and maybe there were environmental changes it went through it felt it well it couldn't get to that that big quantity those amounts of calories that it needed to sustain itself so what we want to be here in terms of um, adaptability we, we want to be more like a coyote in terms of our, our staying in touch with our goals and the point is to not set the standards too high for what it is you need to do in all these different areas of your life. What we're aiming for is to just stay in touch with each of the areas in our lives, not necessarily to do gargantuan huge amounts of effort in them. And to not see the changes in our environment as insurmountable obstacles that will make it impossible for us to engage with our goals. If we're adaptable, will always find a way and if see the difference might be between if I'm telling myself I have to do two hours on my side business or something this person in this question talks about their business I gotta do two hours a day on that well you see now that's gonna be a problem that's like a saber to tiger approach that's big prey you're hunting there whereas if you change it to I need to do 15 minutes on that project now is that ideal maybe not but is it likely that you can somehow in all that busyness in your life find a way to get to that 15 minute period of time and stay consistently connected with your goal because remember I always say it's the, the thing is consistency is really the king in all this just staying in touch with it because really the problem with not being consistent is that we lose any sense of momentum with a the engagement we get with our goals and that's so sort of demoralizing to us we feel like we do it for a little while and then we have to go away from it and we come back to it and we lost all momentum we lost even sometimes the reason why we started to do the project in the first place and it's just become this sort of a task that I feel like I should finish because I started so we become more adaptable and the idea is that you do those 15 minutes on that thing and that's what you said you were going to do that's your sort of I call it a baseline for, for um, engagement 
I did the 15 minutes and then you can become more sort of open for extra opportunities that might present themselves throughout the course of the day. And you will be amazed sometimes that even in all these difficult, difficult, um, when these difficult life situations come about, it could be different for, for, for everybody. You know, maybe some family member has an illness that's going to create um, a time squeeze on us for sure, right? Or maybe you have a new course that you're doing in university or it could be any number of changes take place in life where time seems to be less available than it was. Maybe you get a promotion and there's extra work on and you feel like you can't get access to the gym as much as you used to, things like this. But the important thing is not so much how much time you give to the goal, it's whether or not you stay connected to it at all. That's what you really want to stay focused on here. Now, in terms of, last thing I'll say is, in terms of staying consistent, we want to set very small doable goals that we feel like will make some progress. And then occasionally, the opportunity will present itself where you do have more time available. So I say we, we combine consistency with rare moments of greatness. It's one of the things I wrote in my book on procrastination. And so you can still absolutely be open to doing those deep dives in it, even if you've got a small baseline for engagement of 15 minutes or half an hour or whatever it is. And occasionally when the opportunity presents itself, then you'll be able to sort of um, um, add, add additional time to the goal. But by far and away, what's much more important than those rare moments of greatness where you're able to engage with it and get into that flow state What's much more important over time is consistency as a factor towards your success. So see yourself as a coyote. You're finding opportunities to get what you need whenever you can, even in difficult changes where you're like, just into difficult, the difficult life uh, situations and changes. So I hope that's a useful take. I kind of see my job as just kind of continually reminding anybody who's watching these videos that the old school approach to hustle and you have to push yourself and also maybe more relevant to this question you have to be single-minded you have to let go of everything else in your life that doesn't matter and then you got people fighting with their families <laughs> when they're not like staying productive in their goals or something right so I don't think you should sacrifice really anything and I don't think you have to is the thing because when we have the right mentality we have the right mindset and the right ideas it's actually pretty easy to stay consistently engaged with whatever it is that you feel you need in your life. And I'm not denying that things can get very difficult at times, of course they can. But I think a big part of the problem is that we're, we're told that, you know, all this wrong information about push yourself and, you know, um, grind and hustle and everything else, and it just doesn't work. And it's not a very enjoyable experience, even if it does, in my opinion. So yeah, that's, there's more on that in my book. If you want to check out my book, it's Procrastination Decoded. You can find it online, on my website or online. And um, any feedback or comments, leave them below. I always read them. And thanks for being with me. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.